Hey y'all, it's Samantha. Welcome back to my channel. And I have a collective haul to share with you guys today. Um, I don't have a whole lot to share because I had a very busy weekend and I just didn't get a chance to go shopping, but that's okay because my weekend was absolutely amazing, y'all. So on Saturday, I went to Raleigh, North Carolina for the Post Malone concert. And y'all, I love me some Posty. And after seeing him in concert, I didn't think it was possible to love him anymore, but I absolutely do. And he is the perfect example of why you should not ever, ever judge a book by its cover, y'all, okay? Um, if you're not familiar with who he is, go look him up. And I'm sure your first reaction is going to be like, oh my God. But, y'all, he is just the best human ever, and I just absolutely love him, and it was so good for my soul to go and see him in concert. Absolutely amazing. And then on Sunday, um, my niece on my husband's side of the family, she turned one year old, so I had to drive back from Raleigh, come home, get situated, and get ready to go to her first birthday party. So anyways, um, like I said, didn't get a lot of shopping done. Um, <laughs> most of this stuff actually came in the mail, except for three little things from the Dollar Tree, because of course, while I was in Raleigh, I had to visit a Dollar Tree there. So anyways, let's just jump right in. So the first few things I'm going to show you guys is from Echo Park. Um, this is the Monster Mash Collection. And I saw, I think it was Eva M here on YouTube and on Instagram share a tag flip that she made out of this collection. And y'all, I had to have it. It is so cute. Um, so anyways, I just picked up a couple packs of the little uh, frames and tags. Also, I picked up a couple packs of the ephemera. Um, I'm not going to open these. Um, I'm not sure how old the collection is, but it's definitely not new. So y'all have probably already seen this. Um, and then I just grabbed a couple uh, pieces of the cut aparts. And this is what the front side of this one looks like. And then here is the back side. And then I also grabbed um, a couple of this cut apart sheet. And I think this is so stinking cute. And the back side is just uh, polka dots. And then I also grabbed three of the um, element stickers. And y'all, this is so fun. I absolutely love it. Now, <clears throat> it's got more of the traditional Halloween colors in it than I like. I'm more of a pastelloween kind of girl. But I just could not pass up how stinking cute <laughs> this collection was. Um, and by the way, I got an email from Echo Park, if you guys are interested, that they're actually having a sale right now on their... Um, element sticker starting at a dollar. So anyway, there's that. Then I also picked up a couple packs of the coordinating um, cardstock, and this is what the colors are in it. And I'm going to be honest, I was never a fan of buying the coordinating uh, cardstock sheets that come with collections, but I have found that I'm actually a really huge fan of it. Because it is so hard to get, you know, your cardstock to match the exact colors of collections. So anyway, there's that. And then um, the next thing I picked up was just the little, um, the collection kit from Monster Mash. Now this actually came from CraftDirect.com because uh, the little Echo Park website did not have the, the collection kit. So anyway, it's just your standard 12 by 12 um, double-sided papers and then just one pack of the element stickers so there is that and let me get this over here out of the way and I hope you guys can hear me okay because I had to purchase a new phone and I hate this phone y'all it is an s24 ultra and I freaking hate it so if I sound like I'm down in a hole <laughs> I apologize it's just the new phone uh just not a fan still trying to get used to it Anyways, I picked up one thing from Amazon, and I just bought some of these little sticky thumb um, adhesive foam dots in black. Thought these would be perfect for Halloween crafting. And then I picked up a couple things from my creative time. So I picked up this October 31st uh, die set, a pack of their little glitter um, enamel dots, and then I also picked up this die set. It's called the Sentiment Label uh, plate die 
And I think that this had a stamp kit that went with it, but I honestly was only interested in the little labels. So yeah, there's that. And the sun's starting to come through too. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> then the last couple things, I only have three things from the Dollar Tree. Um, I found this band bracelet kit. And I picked this up because I thought this would be a really nice embellishment box. There's actually uh, 13 spaces. So there's 12 of the smaller one and then a, a longer one here. But I thought, you know, that would be a really fun embellishment box. Um, I am a huge fan of the old school um, boxes that everyone uses and can't find anymore. And I only have a few of those left, so I thought I would give these a try. And then I picked up a pack of these little LED little uh, skull lights. And then the last thing I picked up was just some black and white uh, decorative shrimp. So yeah, that is my quick little uh, collective haul. And uh, thank you guys for hanging out and thanks for watching. And speaking of watching, if you're still here, I have uh, mentioned in a previous video that I was going to be doing a Halloween giveaway and that it would be hidden and today is the day. So you guys, I have put together this cute little boo basket and um, I'm going to go over what's in it, but first I want to tell you my requirements. Um, first, you must be a visible subscriber, US only, you must like the video, and in the comments below, I want you to tell me um, what your favorite item was from my small little haul. And the reason why I'm doing that is because I really don't want people to be able to look in the comments and be able to determine that there's a hidden giveaway, if that makes sense. So anyways, um, I'm going to let this run through Monday evening at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And that is October the 14th. And I will come back and draw a winner on either the 15th or the 16th. So anyways, what's going to be included, and now this is not fully... Uh, decorated or, you know, all cutesied up here, okay? It will come to you cuter than this, I promise. <laughs> um, but you're going to receive one of the cat jelly totes from Walmart. I'm going to include one of these little felt ghosties from Walmart. And also one of the pink disco ball spiders from Target. Just a couple little uh, suckers from the Dollar Tree. I'm also going to include one of these You've Been Booed uh, pennant banners. I did make a beaded pen. I'm also going to include a set of the uh, hotel keys from uh, Dollar Tree. And then I'm going to include this little lip balm set. And there will be a cute pair of these little pink boo socks in there. And this little decor piece from the Dollar General. And I also created a little sequin mix and put in one of the little laboratory bottles from uh, the Dollar Tree. And I'm also going to be including this cute little ghost uh, die that I picked up from Timu. And then in this package, this is a set of Halloween shadow words from KS Craft. And, um, of course, both of the die sets, you know, came in original packaging, but I wanted to put them in something a little cuter, so there's that. And then, last but not least, I'm going to be including one of the cute little ghosty mugs from the Dollar Tree. So, yeah, um, thank you guys for watching until the end. Good luck to everyone. Again, like I said, um, I need you to like, be a visible subscriber, U.S. only, in the comments, tell me what your favorite item is from my haul. And I will see you guys Tuesday or Wednesday of next week when I draw a winner for the, this little cute little cat little boo basket. All right, you guys, that's it. Y'all uh, take care. Have a good weekend. And I will talk to y'all soon. Bye, friends.